Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to my channel, RC by Greeny43. Uh, got my Latrax Rally out here today. Uh, done a few upgrades to it. Uh, that way, you guys watching the video don't think I'm just out here buzzing a little stock rally around. Um, I've done quite a few upgrades to it. Uh, I've put uh, headlights in the front. Um, they are actually two sets of headlights out of the SCX24 front bumper. Um, I have them wired directly into the uh, receiver, um, so that way they come on when the car is on. It makes it a lot easier to see and drive up and down the road. Um, I also upgraded the shocks. These are the aluminum shocks from Latrax. Uh, I also upgraded the, the diffs. They are steel front and rear. I've upgraded the drive shafts. They are the aluminum drive shafts from Latrax. Um, I have put a fast eddy bearing kit throughout the vehicle. Um, those of you who have bought these new or are going to purchase these in the future, they come with a uh, bushing uh, kit in them as opposed to a bearing kit. So probably about the time you burn that first motor out, you'd probably want to switch them over to bearings. Uh, fast eddy makes an awesome kit for them. Uh, everything fit perfect and no problems whatsoever. Uh, I've also upgraded the servo. It has the upgraded Traxxas servo in it. I have upgraded the radio system. Uh, no longer the Latrax radio. It has a TQI radio system in it. Um, definitely makes it a lot easier to control uh, driving it up and down the street. Um, it has a Micro Mamba X uh, ESC and motor. Uh, the motor allegedly is supposed to be a 5700 kV, I believe, maybe, out of the box. Um, hooked up to the Castle website and gone through all of the motor tests and everything. It's an actual 6000 kV motor, so some of you guys who have these might want to go uh, go on there and check that out and see what you're actually running. Um, I did upgrade the shock mounts. The uh, shock towers are aluminum. Um, it definitely, uh, wow, night and day difference to this car. Um, from what it was to what it is now. I'm running it on 2S right now out in the street in front of the house. Uh, 3S is just a little bit too, way too fast, uh, and uh, it's just too hard to control on the street because it's off camber on both sides, and the cars just kind of want to slide up and down the road uh, direction on, you know, which way or way it's cambered. So um, the TQI radio system definitely helped that out um, and has made it a fun fun little car to drive i'm hoping that on 2s i can get up to right around 45 50 mile an hour uh 3s i'm gonna say probably maybe 55 maybe 60 um it's gonna be close i can't do the gps and video uh at the same time on my phone um so i am gonna run a couple passes with the gps and then uh see what it does and uh that way uh that way I'll know for sure. I've never actually put the GPS on this, so uh, I've got that in my pocket. Might as well put it up now. And uh, as far as uh, everything else goes, um, I do have a couple bodies for it. This is the actual stock orange body that comes with it. Um, and I have a clear one inside that I'm lining up, uh, getting everything ready to paint. And... Um, I will do also have this one here, which is a Steelers body. And um, yes, I am a Steelers fan. Um, so, you know, I can't do different things with it. I am going to install a JST plug on the lights, though, so I can unplug that uh, whenever I need to. Um, I think I might unplug that and run those down there with that GPS on there. So, um, like I said, we're going to go out here and... and uh, I'm going to do, uh, do a little video of this thing right up and down the road. Um, like I said, I'm new to this, so uh, bear with me for a little bit until I get some cameras and everything. And uh, you know, please like and subscribe. Uh, please like my videos and subscribe to my channel. Um, there's going to be more to come. So um, we'll hope to see you. Thank you.